Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is lecture series 5 Embedded C Basics. In this lecture series, I am going to briefly explain about multiplication of two 16-bit binary numbers. So I will be explaining the complete program with derivations, how, it, how the answers have, have been derived. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So under this Embedded C Basics laboratory, these are the 11 experiments we will be seeing. So the first experiment being the multiplication of two 16-bit numbers followed by sum of first 10 integers, factorial, addition of array, finding the square, largest and smallest number, series of 32-bit in ascending and descending order, and consecutive ones and zeros. So there are some around 11 programs that we will be seeing in detail. I will be explaining you how these programs are executed in Kale software too. So coming into that, we will start doing the Kale version. So now we have opened the Kale Mu Vision software. Now after opening this software, ensure that you are going to project. New Mu Vision project. So I have already done this program. So I am giving, I am uh, changing this. So yes, or else it is, it is going to directly display. So now it is asking for some saving of your program. So for that I am being it is multiplication, I am giving multiply. Now save it. It is going to save. And it is going to show these devices. So in this you are going to configure 8051 microcontroller. How it is is you have to search for microchip. So now I am searching for microchip, click the plus mark available. In this, you will be selecting 8051, that is 8 mega 89C51. So this is the one which will give all the libraries and all, it will map all the library files to your program. So 8089C51, I am clicking OK and S. Fine. Now the target has been created on your left hand side. Now if you click your target, you have a source group. Now why the source group is created is all your programs will be mapped to the source group. Now I have to type the program in this area. So I am going to file, clicking new. I have a new option where I am going to type my program. So it is a very long program. So I have copy pasted it. So this is the program. Now this program what I have typed will be saved now. I am giving control S. Again it is going to ask you some, uh, some name to be filled. Already I have given multiply. So I am using that same words multiply but dot C. Being embedded C I am giving dot C. If it is an assembly language program you will be giving dot ASM. So here multiply dot C. Now save it. Now it is saved as multiply.c. Now this file has to be mapped with the source group. So what I am doing is right click on the source group. Now click add existing files. Now you will be adding the existing files. So here make sure that it, your uh, C program files is visible. So I have uh, saved it as multiply.c. I am clicking that adding close. So now if you press the uh, press the plus mark you can see multiply dot c mapped to this source group so now after this what you have to do is debug it sorry sorry now what i will do is before debugging there is one procedure where you will be clicking on one second let it get opened so this is the thing where you have mapped and now you are going to project build target so now while building the target you will come to know whether there is errors or warning now from this i am getting it as zero errors and zero warnings so now i confidently can go for debugging so debugging start or stop debugging so click ok now the memory window starts opening so where you are going to see the 
output so this is the window you are going to see the output but now for now you will not get your output directly why because the pointer is pointing here now the pointer has to point to the end of the program so for that what i am doing is this is step over or you can press f10 key so i am going to press this key until the pointer is pointing to the last line okay now the pointer is pointer to the last line now i will explain you what is the program so now you can see here so hash include register 51.h so this is the header file where register 51 is nothing but it is going to uh, tell you the libraries of 8051 and in main you are going to create an unsigned character so i have taken two unsigned character that is a and b which is mapped with two values 0x34 0x12 same as mapped for b and carry now why this 0x is placed is 0x is nothing but it is indicating hexadecimal value so these both are hexadecimal value for b also these both are hexadecimal value and also i am going to take in account the carry now what happens is to save the result of this multiplication i am going to take the integer as c d e f where i am going to store my values of multiplication and this c i am going to divide into two registers c1 c2 d1 d2 e1 e2 f1 f2 so each of the register is divided into two why it is divided into two is i am going to extract the least significant bit and the most significant bit so now the result has to be so so how the multiplication is being done so now if you see here c is equal to a of 0 into b of 0 so now here i am going to consider this now that i will show you how it is so now here you make sure that you have a this value b this value how c d e f you are multiplying different kinds so e is a of 0 into b of 0 a of 0 b of 1 a of 1 b of 0 a of b uh, a of 1 into b of 1 so this is how you are going to multiply but what that zeros and ones is so that we will see it now so i am going to show you that so now if you see here c a of thing is we have two hexadecimal value which i am going to denote it as a naught a1 b is b naught b1 now what was c c is equal to a naught into b naught so a naught into b naught is a naught is 34 b naught is 34 so 34 into 34 right so 34 into 34 sorry uh, c is not a naught into b naught it is a naught into b1 so 34 into 14 so now when i am multiplying 34 into 34 or 34 into 12 12 into 34 how multiplication is done so if it is a naught into b naught i am going to take it as 34 into 34 so normal multiplication 4 fours are 16 16 is not an hexadecimal value you have to convert it into hexadecimal value so 16 is converted into hexadecimal value divided by 16 it is one of zero so zero you are going to place it here and one as a carry now four into four threes are 12 one plus one is 13 what is 13 a is equal to 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 so i am putting it as d now next three fours are 12 12 is nothing but c and three threes are nine i am placing nine now when i am adding zero that is 13 and uh, that is d and c is nothing but 13 plus 12 which is 25 which is not an hexadecimal value so i am dividing it by 16 so 25 divided by 16 i am getting 9 as a reminder it is divisible by 1 so now this 9 is placed here and 1 is taken as a reminder 9 plus 1 is 10 so 10 is equal to a so 0 i'm adding because of 16 bit number so i'm going to take it as 4 4 pair 0 a 9 0 so c is equal to 0 a 9 0 now d is nothing but a naught into b1 a naught into b1 is nothing but a what is a naught 34 b1 is 12 so 34 into 12 same way you're going to multiply this you're going to get an answer 0 3 a 8 
so that is nothing but the c value now what i have told each of the register is split into two c1 and c2 so c1 is nothing but you are going to multiply the i mean you find the lsb and msb so in program c1 is equal to c and operation of 00 ff so you know what is the value of c 0 a 90 ff is nothing but 0 0 ff you are going to do and operation f is nothing but triple one so now what i am going to do is zero binary value is 0 0 0 0 9s 1 0 0 so ff is nothing but all or ones so when i am going to do and operation it is nothing but the same value going to repeat so 90 will be the least significant bit and 0a will be the most significant bit but for 0a what happens is you are right shifting it that i will show you in the program you can see it here see here for c1 it is just and operation c2 you are doing and operation and shifting it by right it is greater than or greater than 8 so 8 bits you are shifting so it becomes 000 a so same wise you are going to calculate it for d e f till last you are going to calculate and the results are stored in list result of 0 what value you have got for c1 is stored in result of 0 result of 1 is nothing but c2 d1 and e1 so whatever values you are getting it you are adding and storing it that result is stored in result 1 so if there is a carry carry is also going to store if there is no carry it is going to show carry 0 so now i am going to see the result so under c c 0 a 9 0 is the value we have got for c d value for d e f c1 c2 d1 d2 e1 e2 f1 f2 and finally the result can be seen Pl press this plus mark and you can see the result i'll stop it now after that you can see the result in plus mark 95a 4b 01 so this is what the result you would have got so make sure you are doing the multiplication manually and then going for checking your calculation in the software so that you can verify that the answer or right so next program we'll be seeing about the addition of 16 bit numbers stay tuned for more information thank you